Hey everyone, this is Ali with Finesse Talk here. Even though we don't trade futures, we follow and analyze them to have a better understanding of the big picture of each market. And since they can be traded almost 24 hours, it gives us perspective of what can potentially happen ahead of the regular market hours. Specifically, I wanted to show you something super interesting about a downtrend in the mini futures, starting with YM which represents a portion of the standard Dow Jones average. Basically, it gives you exposure to the largest 30 companies in the United States, so definitely an index to follow. We entered this downtrend in October last year. We have our all-time high in January this year, and for the most part, we've been respecting this downtrend. Moving on on ES, which is the S&P 500 mini futures, we see a very similar scenario. We entered the downtrend in October last year, we have our all-time high in January this year, and we've been respecting, for the most part, the same downtrend as well. Here's the interesting part. What happened when we go to NQ, which is the NASDAQ 100 mini futures? We see that we entered the downtrend pretty much at the same time, October last year. All-time high was a little bit earlier than the other futures. It was in November, still 2021. And for the most part, also, we've been respecting the downtrend. But right now, everyone else is at the bottom of the channel and NQ still have some room to go down. Nobody knows what's going to happen with the Nasdaq 100, but definitely keep an eye on it. Follow us for more.